Hi, I'm Camille and today I'm going to show you how to make a gemstone tree. This is something that my mom collects. So when I first started working with wire and wire wrap jewelry, I looked at one and said, hey, I can make that. So I figured out a simple pattern and today I'm going to share it with you. The supplies that you're going to need are 25 feet of 22 gauge copper wire cut into two and a half foot long strips, so 10 strips wire cutters to do the cutting, a ruler to do the measuring, nugget beads to be the leaves on the tree, a glue gun, glue, some kind of uh, decorative gravel or pebbles or something, and then a vessel to house your tree. You can use a little demi tasse cup or a sake cup or a votive candle holder, just whatever you think is cute and a color that will complement the tree that you're making. So take your first strip of wire and string one bead onto it. For the center bead I like to use one of the larger beads. Pull it down to the center of the wire and twist the wire around it about three quarters of an inch then string on one bead on each of the ends of the wire and following a similar procedure make a bend in the wire and twist so that you have about a three quarter inch length of twisted wire between the bead and the main wire and do that on each side doesn't have to be exact, I never measure it's a tree, so you're looking for something organic feeling anyway, so measuring um, kind of undoes that. Then twist the whole thing down again, about three quarters of an inch. And we'll add one more branch, so again, string one bead on each end of the wire. And about three quarters of an inch make each of the little branches here. Now we're going to twist that main wire again, just about three quarters of an inch. and set that aside. You're going to make 10 of these. Now that you've made all 10 branches, separate them into five groups, two each, and you're going to twist these together. So take two little branches, and twist them together just about, again, three quarters of an inch, just enough so that they're joined together. Do that with all five pairings. And you can offset them slightly if you want. And once you've got all five now of your new joined together branches, we'll start assembling these into the tree. Take two of those and twist them together just a little bit and then start working in the remaining branches. And once you've got all five branches joined together, then twist all of the wire together all the way down as your tree trunk. While you're twisting, if you want to work on forming a tree trunk shape, you can do that. It can be a little bit hard to twist 
the wire so you might want to wear gloves if you're making a lot of these it can hurt your fingers once you think you've got a good length for the tree trunk in proportion to the rest of your tree then take the remaining wire and just twist it all up into a ball at the bottom and this will potentially poke your fingers so you know be a little bit careful but there is your tree. Don't worry about if it's kind of squishy right now. We will fluff it out once we've planted it. So take your little vessel, something that you've decided complements the beads that you're using, and have your hot glue gun all warmed up, ready to go. You can either apply the glue directly to the ball that you've made, or you can just put a bunch of glue in the bottom of your vessel. and then stick the ball into the glue. Then before the glue cools off, take a handful of your pebbles and drop them in the glue also. And carefully press them in place. You don't want to get the hot glue on your fingers because it doesn't feel good. And then you'll hold the tree there for just a few seconds so the glue can set because if you let go too soon then the tree will just fall out and you don't want that. You want it to stay there. So if your tree is not ready to stand up on its own yet, you can grab something to support the tree while you continue to add layer after layer of glue and pebbles. And you can't stop. Once you start gluing, you can't stop for anything because then you'll just have ugly glue. So pour in some glue and drop in your pebbles. And make sure you cover all the glue with pebbles because you don't want to have the glue dry uncovered. Press down the pebbles and see if your tree is ready to stand on its own yet. And then just keep adding glue and pebbles for decoration to make it pretty. And this does take a lot of glue, but it's worth it. I'm just adding glue and adding pebbles. I'm just trying to be decorative with it at this point because the tree is standing up on its own. So I'm just making sure that if I have any glue exposed that it is covered and that if there's any funny looking holes in the pebbles I'm filling them in and that if there are any pebbles that are loose that I'm gluing them down so they don't fall out. And once I'm happy with my pebbles I'm pulling out a gob of glue that got stuck to the trunk of my tree. Once I'm happy with my pebbles and their placement, then I can move on to the branches of my tree and just fan them out. And this is, again, just up to you, however you want your tree to look, keeping in mind that if you lean all of your branches to one side, your tree might be lopsided and it could fall over. So try and keep it balanced. Filling in any little holes that maybe I think need a nice little pretty pebble to fill them in. To just make my dirt look a little better around the bottom of the tree. and I think I'm pretty happy with that. So there it is, a gemstone tree.